Hello everyone, welcome to my super secret uh, test center, also known as my kitchen corner. The premise of this video is pretty simple, the car I own developed the misfire and to help me diagnose what's wrong with the car, I ordered the three cheap but cheerful OBD2 scanner devices. They all cost around 30 pounds and I decided to find out what are the main differences and which could be the best device for anyone else to buy. So with the help of YouTube, Amazon reviews and one of my friends, I've come up with three devices to try out. So the first one is Autl AL319, the second one was called X2U581 and the third one is Ansel AD310. Not to drag this review for too long, I will just get them out of the boxes and I'll just give a quick first impression of how they feel in your hand, mostly from the angle of quality. So the first device is Autolay 319, as you can see with three buttons, quite a short cord to be honest. Enter exit button is the same button, I can see that being a problem. Scroll wheel only goes down. I am button some sort of quick emissions test button, I don't know if it applies to the rest of the world besides the United States, but anyway, pretty simple little device. Came with CD, of course a manual, and this one also has a USB cable. As far as the quality goes, I mean, it's, it feels pretty solid to touch. The connector feels a bit cheapy. The only device that has a colored screen. This one out of the three devices that I have on the table here was the only one that I managed to use the updating software. So I got this device updated. Pretty simple and straightforward using their homepage. The second device, x 2 U581. It's pretty large compared to the other two. Mostly it feels pretty empty inside. Uh, I don't know why they made it so big. Uh, my friend says he has this since uh, like 10 years ago, so maybe it's like an older model. It looks like one of those uh, you put batteries in and it's like a Tetris game or something. Six buttons, left, right, escape, enter, up and down. Feels kind of flimsy and large compared to the others. Came with, of course, the cord. So this one is only one with the removable cord, of course a manual, USB cable to connect it with a computer, but the software was really tricky and tedious and I couldn't bother making it work, so I couldn't update this one. Last but not least, Ansel AD310. Four buttons, as you can see, pretty intuitive uh, from the first glance already. Exit enter, up and down, everything you need. This feels the sturdiest out of them all. Feels, feels like a solid piece of kit and the connector feels heavy on it, so it feels the most quality. This one came with just the user manual and that's it. Tried to update the, the Ansel device and couldn't even find the software to update it with, so I'm not sure if it's possible to update this one, but I didn't manage to do it. After conducting extensive field testing, meaning I plugged all the scanners to the car's OBD port one by one and scanned for the codes, I can only conclude that all three came up with the same results. In addition to the error codes, these devices display live data and freeze frames. In my case with the freeze frame, the scanner has only shown the most recent moment of when the error code displayed itself. As far as I'm aware, rummaging through error codes timestamps is not possible. All in all, there were not many differences present during actual usage. The only thing I can really point out is that the Ordle device had a really clingy connector which took some persuasion to get off the port again. Otherwise the functionality and usability was all the same. So not to drag this video on for too long, I mean it's hardly very specifically scientific, but out of these three devices I would suggest you buying either the Ansel or the Ordle device. With the Ordle device button layout is weird, as I said in the first enter exit button being the same button and you can always scroll down. What it does, color for screen, it has the most bells and whistles, so as you can see in front of here you have these uh, uh, little lights, they light up, so green, yellow, red, obviously what they mean, and it made beeps and sounds, I had to turn the sound off because it was so annoying. The Anso AD310, uh, I'd say I like this one the most, it's simplistic four button layout, very intuitive, 
had the same features as far as I was concerned with the, the hotel device. So it's a player's choice. So which one of these you want to get, I would advise these two. As far as this X2 U581 goes, you can take off the cord, but I don't know if it's such a big feature. It's cumbersome, too large. I don't know why they made it so large. Uh, I think if it would have a battery in it, it would make some difference, but I don't know why you would want to walk around with it. But I wouldn't get this one, so this is just my humble opinion. Uh, either the Otl or the Ansel device and just leave this one. It's this, so you don't buy it by Ansel or Otl. I'm not sponsored. This is just my opinion.